hey guys welcome to decorating with Barbara so in today's video I'm going to share some decorating ideas for fall now we are in my dining room but these ideas are not just for the dining you'll room. be able to share these ideas on a console table a buffet or even a coffee table I'm also going to be sharing a beautiful pumpkin centerpiece idea using a dough bowl so guys, if this sounds like something you want to see, stick around. I also won't be doing much talking in the video today. I need to get this video done pretty quick. I need to get set up for my annual garage sale. And I also need to get this video finished before my grandson gets home from school. And I'm sure you can all relate. So we're going to start off simple and then we're going to build up to the grand finale. Okay, so for this one, I added a large vase with some picks inside. These came from Hobby Lobby and then this uh, lighter color one came from a local store. And then I did, I added a second vase, but I'm using it as a candle holder. And then I added two pumpkins. These pumpkins came from Home Goods. They're in a nice um, wood material. And then they have this nice silver leaf detail on top. And these I picked up last year, but I have seen them this year. And then I just like the way Pottery Barn has been adding the little bead garland throughout their displays. And so, I just added this one just to elongate my centerpiece. And you guys might recognize these beads from Target. I have a candle in front with a pumpkin and then some leaves draped around the table just for a little softness. Okay, so for this one, I just have the pompous grass in a vase. And I mentioned before that I just think the pompous grass is so cozy for the fall. And then I just have a acorn. And then I have this candle here in this beautiful gold container. And then I have a pair of candlesticks with gray taper candles. So it's neutral. And I think it's casual, but it does add a little pop of uh, glam with the gold metal. And this is how I like to add glam to my decor. Now later you will see some more blingy pumpkins, but um, I had those pumpkins for a while and I just wanted to use them and I thought today would be the perfect day to do so. But I do like a more understated look for my home. Or if you like, you can replace the acorn with a gourd, something a little bit more toned down. Okay, so here I felt like I needed to repeat the gray. And so I added the gray bead. And so you guys really enjoyed the green in the last bedroom video. And so I thought I would recreate something in here as well.
All right, everyone, this is my last and final look. So for this look, I wanted something dramatic and kind of over the top. I wanted one piece on the dining room table, and so I made an extra large dough bowl arrangement. I took leaves that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This was a long stem. These were branches from Hobby Lobby. They were originally in brown. Now these are the more pliable ones. These are not the natural stems, uh, sticks. And I just spray painted them gold. And then these more uh, rust type leaves are from a local store. But Hobby Lobby does have something very similar in a long pick. And then I placed just the smaller leaves in around the pumpkins wherever I needed to fill a gap. These pumpkins and gourds are from various places. This one came from Nebraska Furniture Mart. This was Walmart. I think both of those were Walmart several years ago. They were all orange to begin with and I just painted them out in my color of choice. Candle came from Hobby Lobby. The label says Vintage Luxe, so if that's a fragrance, that's what we're going with. But it really does smell like tobacco. And then these pillows are from Home Goods. I went with a scarf on the table just to kind of soften the brown table. But you don't have to use a scarf. And then here's a look without the throw. I think it still looks pretty. And then I just added a little wood slice under the candle. On the buffet, I did add a mirror tray to the front of the large mirror. I added a wreath. I added a few other little accessories. And then since everything had such warm tones, I wanted to add the silver candlesticks to cool things off. Now these are very tall, so you don't really need candles in them because they just kind of stand alone and they speak for themselves. And then here's another option, bringing the candlesticks from the buffet to the table. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas. I hope they were helpful and you were inspired to recreate one of these ideas for your home. This is just inspiration to kind of get your juices flowing. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.